Guardians of the Chamber is a fast-paced, ranged PvP game mode consisting of a lot of sudden communication and strategy. The game now is in brackets, meaning there are seven rounds. At the start of each round, you get four kits or classes to choose from, each having different custom items and weapons to aid you in combat, with the only source of melee combat being the sword from the Sword Specialist class and the trident from the Mobility Master. Though, please keep in mind that the meleeing with the trident is slightly nerfed. Right, so the main objective. Your goal is to, as well as place your own guardian box, keep it alive and break the opposing team's guardian box. You can only place the guardian box in the two sites, A and B. The longer your team's guardian box is alive, the more points you will get. Time matters here. Speaking of time, if the Guardian Box is alive for long enough, then the Guardian Box can corrupt. All this does is give your team extra bonus points. After a Guardian Box corrupts, it's still there to be broken and can get points for being alive. The only time a team stops getting points from the Guardian Box is when it's broken. You winning a round is you breaking the other team's Guardian Box. Individual points are only split through the Guardian Box's survival and corrupted. The only points that are individual to you specifically are breaking a guardian box and killing players. And yeah, hopefully that's not too confusing. Good luck! Right, so there are actually other updates. <laughs> The Avalanche map Sewers gets a bit of a glow up and gets its biggest update yet. The floors or arena now alternates every minute or so, meaning throughout the round there should be around 3 or 4 different platforms to stand on. This does mean that you shouldn't see people always survive to the end of the round, so let's see how hard people find this now. Don't be scared by the fact that I'm mentioning Elytra Race. Towards the end of a lap you'll find a new ring, the Netherite Ring. They function like redstone rings, but instead are a little stronger. Kinda helps people finish their lap if they're not that high. Bridge Bonanza's first stage is a bit shorter, basically getting cut in half. This does mean that there are now five stages, and hey, more points to grab. Who's complaining? Sky Skirmish's center island gets a change, considering it was way too big last time and way too easy to camp or survive on. We appreciate the great feedback on the new map, by the way. Especially because you guys seem to like it more than Battleground. Also, spawns a random. Combat Cube sees mini captures. Before the border engulfs them, there are small capture points to milk points from. The longer you stay on them, the more points you get. Simple. Ever since rushing the center capture got nerfed, the game kinda turned from a capture based game to being just any other FFA game mode, and I don't like generic things. <laughs> Good luck to all the teams, I'll see you on event day.